let me begin asking you this question what is a netlist you can say that a netlist is an ascii file which describes a circuit structure along with its sub circuits models and hierarchies the spectre circuit simulation netlist file has a .ses extension and consists of four types of statements namely the instance statements model statements analysis statements and control statements the instance statements are generally used to specify the circuit components with all the necessary definitions the model statements are used to specify the model parameter values for a given component then the analysis statements are used to specify the type of analysis that you would like to perform on the circuit along with any related parameters and the control statements are generally used to control the flow of the spectre simulation by specifying the initial conditions node sets other options etc so the above four types of statements combined together in a netlist to define the list of the circuit components the nodes that connect the components together the parameter values to customize the components and different analyses that you want to run on the circuit also in a spectre circuit netlist both the spectre and spice language modes are supported here is a sample netlist named input.scs the first few lines of the netlist are comment lines denoted by double slash in fact the spectre language supports both asterisk and double slash to denote comments the asterisk denotes that a comment line follows and works only at the beginning of the line but when you use a double slash this way the comment finishes at the end of the line then you have the simulator defined for this language following it are the global statements parameter definitions and inclusion of model files for this test bench design below this you have two sub circuit definitions with instance statements inside it here you can extend the statement onto the next line by ending the current line with a backslash alternatively you can also use the plus sign to indicate the line continuation at the beginning of next line but cadence recommends the use of double slash for comments and backslash for the end of line character then let's move on to the next slide where this netlist is continued here you have the top level test bench definition of the design with source and load instance definitions along with sub circuit instance definition of a pll lpf amp cell then at the end of this file you have the control statements analysis statements like dc and tran and following it you have other simulator parameters and output statements another thing you can note here is that this netlist is in spectre format with .acs extension so it does not have a dot in statement like a spice netlist 